Hello friends, welcome to Axial GT. In this video, I'll show you how to turn a Raspberry Pi 4 into a Steam Link device. Some of us have been there, at least I know I have, where you love playing your games on your gaming PC, but on certain occasions, you want to play games on the big screen, in the other room. And while moving your gaming PC is an option, sometimes it's just too much of a pain in the ass. Now you could try and find an actual Steam Link device, but since it's been discontinued, if you are able to find one, the prices are exorbitant. Or you could purchase an Nvidia Shield, but those cost an arm and a leg too. In comes Raspberry Pi to the rescue. Now I usually use the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus over the standard Pi 3 version due to its better dual band Wi-Fi and also its gigabit ethernet, which is what we need to make this work with as little lag and input lag as possible. Now other than the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or Pi 4, you'll also need a micro SD card and I would get at least 16 gigabytes a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter, and also a USB Type-C power supply for the Raspberry Pi. But instead of buying all these items separately, you can go to Amazon and purchase everything in a kit. A Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is usually between $50 and $80 for the kit, and a Raspberry Pi 4 will set you back $80 to $100. In this video, I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi 4 because I have other things and other projects I'm going to be using it for. So I opted to go with the $100 version. Now the other things you will need is a controller. A wireless controller with a 2.4 GHz dongle or a PS4 Bluetooth controller. Or if you want to go wired, an Xbox One controller works great. In this video, I'll be using my trusty SteelSeries PC controller. A keyboard and mouse, wired or wireless, they all work just fine. Next you will need a good router. While you can go all wireless using the 5 GHz network, I recommended using Ethernet over the home network. But a lot of that will depend on how much congestion you have in your home that's running on the 5 GHz network. But just let it be known that wired Ethernet will work better than your 5 GHz network. And lastly, you'll need a gaming PC to play your Steam games. Now let's go ahead and stick this kit together, which is amazingly simple. Now if you'd like a full build video on how to put these together, let me know in the comments below, as I'd be happy to make one. But for this video, I'll just go over the main parts that you need to know. Now most of your kits come with three heat sinks, and they go here, here, and here, corresponding to the size of the heat sink. Then when hooking up your fans, the red wire goes here, and the black wire goes here. And as you can see, I was just photobombed. Next we'll hop on our gaming PC, and go download a program called Etcher. This will flash our operating system to our SD card. Then we'll go to the Raspberry Pi website, and download the Raspberry Pi OS, formerly known as Raspbian. Now I save both of these to my desktop, so they're easy to find. And no need to unpack the zip file, Etcher will do it for us. Now insert your micro SD card into a micro SD to SD adapter, and insert it in your computer. Next, go ahead and run Etcher, and select the OS we just downloaded, and select where to flash to, and that would be our micro SD card that we just installed. Now this takes a few minutes, so I'll go ahead and skip on to the next part. But I will say once the flashing is finished, you can remove your SD card from your computer and go ahead and install it into your Raspberry Pi and power it on. But before we leave our gaming PC, we need to open up Steam, then open up Settings and enable Remote Play. And that's it. Now we can jump over to the Pi and set it up. We will have to come back to Steam eventually to enter the code to give access to our Raspberry Pi. Now the first time you power it on, it does take a little while for the Pi to power up, but every subsequent startup will be a lot faster. Now once it's booted up, we need to open up a terminal window, which is Control alt t on your keyboard. Then type in sudo apt update. Next we're going to go ahead and install Steam Link by typing in sudo apt install steam link. Now this is grabbing all the necessary packages and installing the steam link application. So there you have it. Now you have steam link on your Raspberry Pi. Now once you select steam link, you'll be greeted with this. This is the code you'll type in on your gaming PC into the pop-up window that has appeared. Once you do that, your gaming PC and your Raspberry Pi are now linked. Going back to your TV, you'll see Steam's big picture mode now opened up on your Raspberry Pi. Now technically this is just made for playing games from your Steam library, but there are ways to add things to your Steam library, like games from GOG. Just add those favorite games to your Steam library and you can stream it over Steam Link. Now this video is pretty short, but it doesn't take a long time 
to install Steam Link on a Raspberry Pi. Now I did leave out things like overclocking the Raspberry Pi, and that's because for Steam Link it's not needed. All the game processing takes place on your gaming PC, so the power of the Pi is only needed to stream. Now admittedly, I do have a Raspberry Pi 4 on every TV in my home. The Raspberry Pi has a lot of uses for gamers, like streaming games, or even retro gaming. These are really powerful single board computers and work great for retro game emulation. And let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more uses for the average gamer using the Raspberry Pi. Me being a gamer and system builder, it's not all about AAA first party titles. I love all games and play today's titles as well as the ones from yesteryear. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future Axial GT content. I really do appreciate you watching. Until next time, I'm out of here. You all have a good one.